Hey everyone, this is Kenny, and today I would like to dial in some cool Tame Impala-esque tone using the Black Star Silverline. And I'm going to use the Architect software to dive in deep into the editing. Um, so I got this awesome Rickenbacker 620 that I'm borrowing from a, a legendary rock star. And uh, I got uh, into a voice clean bright and to uh, TVP is at EL84. So it's got a bright, clean tone. The gain at as around 3.6. So it's in the cleaner side of things, but having the EL84 TVP, the two uh, power uh, emulation, it's got that nice compression. So let's hear it completely dry. And it sounds like this. <laughs> So what I like about this uh, having the EL84 uh, tube amp emulation is that it's just nice and even throughout the, uh, when you sustain the notes. You can hear the low end, the top end, the mid range. If I were to switch that over to 6L6, you'll probably hear the low end more than the highs. Right, so the low end just jumps out a little bit more than the highs, uh, but I want it to be a little bit more on the even uh, side of things, so I have it switched over to EL84. So you can still hear that shimmer. And I have the bass at 8.2, mid-range at 7, and uh, treble at 6.1. So, good sound, and then I have the ISF at around 3.6. So the ISF is a very cool feature because you could ha you could set your uh, EQ pretty bright, um, and on a conventional amp, if you set it like that, it gets too piercing. But if you set the ISF to a certain sides, then you could tame down a lot of that piercing top end. Um, so, but not on this case, but for other things. Uh, so let's hear that again. And then <clears throat> Tame Paul's tone, the guitar tone, has a lot of reverb, delay, and some nice luscious chorus. So let's add that. So I have the size pretty large and the level cranked. So it sounds like this. So hear that nice clean tone, but it fills it up nicely with that plate reverb. And I'm gonna have a little bit of a slap back delay just to fan things up a little bit. And ever so slightly, you hear that fatness. Without. With. Very subtle, but you could really hear the difference if you turn it off and on, back and forth. Now into the chorus. So I have the mix and depth cranked all the way up with the speed at 4.1. So you could really hear the warble uh, and the chorus sound. Not as warbly where the pitch is completely shifted. 